In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use Notion to achieve your New Year's resolutions. As we all know, New Year's resolutions can be a great way to set goals and motivate ourselves to make positive changes in our lives. But they can be difficult to stick to, and it's easy to lose motivation and give up on them. This is where Notion comes in. If you don't know what Notion is, it is a powerful tool that can help you stay organized and on track with your goals. With its customizable databases and templates, you can create your own personal workspace that is tailored towards your specific needs and goals. So for this video, I made a template in Notion to help you sort of visualize how to achieve your New Year's resolutions, which you can duplicate into your own workspace. But of course, you can always just make your own and use mine as inspiration, but it will be there for you to grab anyway. I also included some examples just so you can kind of get a feel of how to use the template, which you can just go ahead and delete if you do decide to grab it. So with that out of the way, let's dive right in. Okay, so this is what the template is looking like. It's called New Year's Resolutions Planner, and there are a bunch of pages here, all designed with the purpose of helping you achieve your New Year's resolutions except for yearly memories. I sort of just did that one for fun. But anyway, let's dive into the first way you can use Notion to actually achieve your New Year's resolutions, yearly review. Okay, so a yearly review page is designed with one purpose in mind, to help you reflect on your past year and to set new goals for the year ahead. I've included a bunch of important questions like what are the fears I want to conquer this year or how would I like my life to change this year so you can determine what exactly is important to you so you can better plan out your goals. You can also add a pretty straightforward section on what you want to specifically work on in different areas of your life like health and fitness, relationships, career, personal, and so on. So for example, for what I want to work on in health and fitness, I could say be more consistent in the gym. And that could help me determine a goal such as go to the gym for five days a week for 10 weeks or something along those lines. Basically, answering all of these questions will help you gain way more clarity on the type of goals you want to set so you can begin actually writing them down, which brings us to the next way you can use Notion to achieve your New Year's resolutions writing your goals down and having them in one place. So one of the main reasons people fail to achieve their New Year's resolutions in the first place is because they either set and forget about them or they don't create a proper plan to achieve them. But thankfully with Notion, we can solve all of these problems. So with Notion, you can create a page dedicated to just your goals and you can add a database to input all of them in one place like I have here. This page is so important because I can see all of my goals in one place so I don't ever forget about them. And even more importantly, I can create a plan for each goal with a template. As one wise dude once said, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So to create a plan for one of my goals, I just open one of them up and I press on the goal plan template that I've created here that will fill out the page with the SMART method, which is the method that I'm using to help guide me in achieving my goals. One day it will load. Here we go. So the SMART method, if you didn't know, stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So for my example goal of run a marathon, my specific answer would be, I want to train every day to run a marathon. Measurable, I would write down, I will use my Apple watch to track my training progress as my mileage increases. Achievable, I ran a half marathon this year, so I have a solid fitness level foundation. Relevant, I want to increase my cardiovascular endurance and have a stronger heart. This goal will help me sustain that. And time bound. The marathon is in October, so I need to be ready by then. Exiting out of that, another really useful feature Notion has to help you accomplish your New Year's resolutions is through their properties. So I have a multi-select property here to just show what type of goal it is. You can add different categories like health and fitness, family, personal development, career growth, relationships, and so on. You can also add a status property to show whether your goal is in progress, not started, or if it's done. 
I also have a ton of relational properties here, like month, quarter, next actions, and projects, which I will explain in a little bit. But for now, we are going to dive into the next way you can use Notion to achieve your New Year's resolutions, which is through habit tracking. Habit tracking is so important for achieving any goal because it is inherently motivating as we see the progress we are making and we don't want to lose it. So in this habits page, I created a table view with the days Monday through Sunday with a checkbox property for each habit that reflects the goal I want to achieve. So to run a marathon, I probably need a habit to run every day, to create a meditation practice, I should probably have a habit to meditate, and so on. With this habit tracker, you'll be able to visualize your progress and see if you're actually taking the necessary steps to achieve your goals. The next way you can use Notion to achieve your New Year's resolutions is through its project management capabilities. So with Notion, you can add a project database with different views and add the projects that will help you get closer to your goals. And when I say project, I mean any short-term effort that has a beginning and an end. So for example, in my projects page, I have a database here with all of my projects related to the goals that I want to achieve. So here you can see I have a project to research different meditation apps that is related to my goal, create a mindfulness practice. So once I complete this project, that will get me one step closer to actually achieving my goal of creating this practice. Basically, connecting your goals to the work you do every day, aka your projects, ensures that they are always a click away and will never be forgotten. Okay, so when you create a project page and add projects, there's generally a ton of tasks that accompany that project, which is why creating a next to do or next actions page is also super important in helping you achieve your New Year's resolutions. With a next to do page, you can stay focused on what you need to do next, which is especially important if you have a lot of tasks or goals to work on. So in my next to do page, I have a database of all of the next tasks that I need to do to complete my projects that will help me accomplish my goals. So for example here, I have a task on research a YouTube video topic which is associated with the project published my first Notion YouTube video, which is this one by the way, which is um, tied to my goal of become financially independent and start a Notion YouTube channel. So in each task, if I open it up, you can see that I've created a relational property for my goals and my projects to see which goals is associated with the task and which, pro which project is associated with the task. But one of the more important things that I've added in this to-do database is a date property. So for each task, you can go in and you can assign it a date in which you need to complete it. And then you can add a calendar view which is super helpful in visualizing and seeing when you have to complete the tasks on your next task list. All right, let's move on to the last four pages that'll help you achieve your New Year's resolutions. Weekly, quarterly, monthly, and yearly planning. So basically, these pages help you stay on track and ensure that you're making progress toward your goals. So in my weekly page here, I have added the first two weeks of January in a gallery view database. And inside of each um, week, I have added a date property to show which week it is and a select property to show which month it is, which goes through January to December. Um, I have also included a relational property to see what actions I've written down in my next to-dos list I need to complete during this week, January 1 through 7. And lastly, I created a weekly review template to keep me accountable. So each week I can fill this out to show what I accomplished that week, what I failed to accomplish that week, and I can also answer how I felt this week. I also have this view here that will uh, show the week's connected actions to see if I completed the actions I was supposed to complete. 
and the quarterly and monthly pages basically all work in the same way. So I added quarters one through four and inside of them, you can see that I've added a relational property property to show the goal that I want to focus on for each quarter. So for quarter one, I want to focus on starting a Notion YouTube channel. For quarter two, I want to focus on creating a mindfulness practice and achieve my goal of becoming financially independent. Then if we go over to monthly, I have added a gallery view of each month, January through December. And if I click on it, you can see that I've added a relational property of my goals, my next actions and my projects. So for each month, I will generally pick one to two goals that I want to focus on and I will assign it a month. So for January, I want to focus on becoming financially independent and the actions that I need to do there will be to release my first paid Notion template. And of course that is related to my project of create my first paid Notion template and publish my first Notion YouTube video. So basically the best thing about all of these pages is the ability to plan in advance to make sure you will be taking the steps to get closer to accomplishing your goals. And lastly, I have the yearly page with just 2021, 2022, and 2023 so far. And inside of them, I have the previous yearly review and yearly memory pages linked, which you can just duplicate every year and fill them out. So these will help you reflect on the previous year and then decide what goals you want to set for the year ahead. So yeah, overall, Notion is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you stay organized and motivated in achieving your New Year's resolutions. Whether you're looking to improve your health, your career, or any other aspect of your life, Notion can help you stay on track in achieving your goals. So give it a try and see how it can help you reach your goals in the new year. And before you go, if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that big red juicy subscribe button for more Notion content because there will be a ton of Notion content soon coming to this channel. And lastly, comment down below what your new year's resolutions are. I would love to comment back and show some support. And that's about it. So I will see you in the next video. Adios.